In a remarkable turn of events, Voyager 1, our intrepid explorer of the universe, has broken its silence after five months long radio silence. In this video, we're going to discuss why Voyager 1 didn't respond for five months and what the Voyager team did to bring it back to life. Voyager 1 was launched by NASA on September 5, 1977 from Cape Canaveral, Florida. Voyager 1 was designed to study the outer planets of our solar system. In March 1979, Voyager 1 made its closet approach to Jupiter and revealed breathtaking views of the gas giant's swirling clouds and turbulent storms. But the journey does not end here. On November 1980, Voyager 1 reached Saturn, provide unprecedented insight of Saturn's ring and moons. Voyager 1 embarked on a grand tour of solar system, conducting flybys of Jupiter and Saturn. These encountered provide unprecedented insights to these gas giant, revealing moons, rings in stunning detail. After completing its primary mission, Voyager 1 continued its journey outward, venturing into uncharted territory known as interstellar space. On August 25, 2012, it became the first human-made object to cross the heliopause, which marks the boundary at the edge of our solar system. After an epic 46 years of journeying through interstellar space, Voyager 1 encountered a technical glitch on November 14, 2023, which halted the transmission of scientific data back to Earth, leaving scientists and engineers concerned. After exhaustive analysis and troubleshooting, the team at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory has identified the root cause of the communication failure, a malfunction in Voyager 1's Flight Data Subsystem, or FDS. The FDS is a critical component of Voyager 1's onboard computer system, responsible for collecting data from Voyager's science instruments and monitoring the spacecraft's health. It then packages this information into binary code, a series of ones and zeros, to transmit it back to Earth by Telemetry Modulation Unit, or TMU. The TMU is responsible for communication between mission control facilities and the Voyager 1 spacecraft. However, on November 14, 2023, the TMU began transmitting a repeating pattern of ones and zeros like it was stuck. Even after attempting to restart the FDS, the problem wasn't fixed and communication remained unusable. After investigation, the team discovered that the problem originated from a single corrupted chip. This chip is responsible for storing part of the FDS memory, including crucial software code. Unfortunately, the chip was not functioning properly. The team unable to repair the faulty chip due to the vast distances between the Earth and Voyager 1. As a solution, the team formulated a daring plan to relocate the affected code to different areas of FDS memory. But no single part had enough to hold the entire code. So they split the code into sections and stored them in different parts in FDS memory. They asked Lowe had to adjust the code sections to make sure they will still worked together. On April 18th, 2024, the team initiated the relocation process, sending the modified code to its new location in the FDS memory. But the journey of communication with Voyager 1 is a testament to the vastness of space. It takes over 22.5 hours for a signal to reach the spacecraft and another 22.5 hours for a response to return to Earth. The team had to wait for a long time to see whether the changes made were working or not. Finally, on April 20th, the moment of truth arrived. The team received confirmation that their modification was successful and the spacecraft is once again transmitting data back to Earth. For the first time in five months, they are able to check the health and status of Voyager 1, a testament to their perseverance and dedication. Thank you for joining us on this exciting journey. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more updates on the wonders of space exploration.